I'm going to do this kids' makeup challenge, right? Now, when I was a kid, I actually really remember using my mom's makeup. And when I really started being able to have makeup, I actually didn't have a lot of the stuff that I got, to be honest. And while I couldn't find um, foundation for myself, what I used as a kid was the CoverGirl Combat. And just powder. It wasn't until I was older, like 16, 17, that I actually was able to use foundations and all that stuff that I actually bought myself. So, yeah. So, I tried to stick with what I bought as a teenager or what my mom would let me have on some stuff. But on others, you know, I kind of improvised, okay? Now, so we're going to start this. And, like I said, when I was a kid, I got to use the cover girl. And I don't think... There's a, yeah, there's not a bungee thing, like when I was a kid. I took it out. So, we're just going to go ahead and put some of this all over our face. And I'm just going to use the mirror of the compact just to kind of go ahead and get it on <laughs> to the best of my ability. And I'm using the brushes I bought today at Claire's. Yeah, still kind of has that smell, even though this is the True Blend one, it still has that smell. And my kid is screaming so from the bathtub, so I'll be right back. Okay, never mind. He was just playing. Kind of weird. Alright, let's get this on. Get this started. Now, I do remember... I always chose the wrong color and this is actually really close to my skin tone I tend to use a little bit lighter on my skin tone for some reason but not really actually I use my color actually oh that's right I got this for highlighting that's why <laughs> couldn't remember why I bought something and my mom taught me to go down my neck, you know. Probably should go down further, but I'm not going to. I really feel like I'm looking like a ghost almost. Dang. But, you know, this is what I used as a kid. And honestly, it actually kind of matches. Surprisingly. Make sure it's on. Okay. I really like these brushes, you know, like kiss and makeup. And the other side I got have these really neat geometric designs. Okay, so earlier when I did my haul, I was telling you about these correcting beads and it had this little thing on top. And I was thinking, how am I going to use that? Well, I took, the, took it off and I'm just going to go like this. Just make sure I get enough product. Because I'm just going to use it on my cheeks and just blend it out. Not that smell. It smells like makeup. When I got this... I couldn't believe how expensive everything was. I don't remember makeup that my mom bought me being so expensive. So to see the price tag of it, I was like, oh my lord. And I used money I could have used to buy more expensive products or a little bit better products and got this. Now, the correcting beads aren't bad. Not bad at all. Okay. 
Now I'm going to go in with the Bonjour palette I got. It's just a makeup set that I told you about, you know. Right there. And it's kind of an all-in-one, yes. But you know what? They didn't have, like, separate things. And I was not going to Boise to, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead, dip into this bronzer. And kind of, I need a compact, actually. Since my son killed my little mirror I had. And I'm just going to warm up my skin. Because it's a little pale. Just a little bit, you know? It's actually not bad. It's doing decent. Of course, my little hairs are getting in the way. See? It's not bad. Not bad. Okay. Kind of try and do a contour here. Okay. Not a bad color. Now, just realized I have some white right here. <laughs> From when I was eating donuts earlier. That is one weakness I do truly have, is donuts. <laughs> so, I got my contour on. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend. Blending up, kind of. Okay. Not bad. Hmm. I think I did a better job than other stuff I usually use. Hmm. Score! But one looks higher than the other. So let's try and see if we can make it match. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Hmm. Okay. Looks good. Patty. So, I don't know if this is going to have fallout. So, bear with me if I do. I don't know if it could be bad, good or bad, but I don't know which one to use. Um... Let's use this side. Okay. I'm going to go for neutral. So I'm going to probably use like these two and then this one for eyes. And I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to take this brown right here. Get some on there. And it is quite dusty. Maybe, okay, on the lid, and actually, amazingly, really good, really good color payoff, actually. I'm actually quite shocked. I didn't think it would be that good, actually. See? Okay, let's get some more of that light brown right here. Wait, 
Oh, I went into the wrong brown. Let's wipe that off. Go into this brown that I was using. This medium color. And let's do the other eye. I don't know why, but it seems like my right eye always turns out better. It drives me nuts. And that is totally not what the purpose is, you know. Okay, going in again. So I can just kind of make sure it looks good. But amazingly for a kid's makeup, it looks really good. Okay, so I'm going to wipe that brush off, because I am using the brushes I did buy. Um, let's see here. I'm going to grab this brush right here, and I'm going to go into this color right here, the one next to it, the light one, and I'm going to use it as my transition color. So, yeah, and, you know, for kids' brushes, you know, if they're trying to prepare the girls, you know, for makeup as they get older, you would think they would have a fluffy brush, a blending brush, but no. I mean, I'm not going to use anything but these, but, dang it, you would think. Make sure it's looking good. Okay. So, got transition on. Kind of wipe this away. Let's try and get some more powder there a little bit. There, yeah, that looks a little bit better, but it's shadow mainly. Kind of wipe away a little bit. Not bad. Okay, so we're going to go in with a dark color. That dark brown I was telling you about, you know. Right here. And we're going to kind of shape my outer corner and the crease. Now, I do it kind of weird, okay. I get shaped right there. Get a little bit more. Right there. See what I mean? And then what I do is I take this and I draw into it. See? I don't know if you can see it. Probably should use darker color. Just draw. See it? You know what? I know what I'll do. They got, it got kind of like a block here. Oh, okay. I see this now. One side matte, one side shimmer. Okay. I got a block on there so that you can see what I do. Or is this a very dark chocolate? It's not showing up like a black. It's showing up like a dark chocolate. Now, do you see it? That's what I do. And then get some right there. Okay. So now that I did that color scheme, I got to copy it on this eye. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go in with that, like, darker chocolate, blackish chocolate. And we're going to darken the crease up right there, or the corner. Okay. 
and we're going to draw a creton. There we go. Got it on. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to try and blend as best as I can. Not going too bad. It blended really well. Okay, so let's do this side. See? Not bad at all. Not bad. So, okay, itch in my ear. Okay, I'm going to take this little angle brush. And I'm going to take that one brown right here. And I'm going to kind of line my under eye a little bit. Kind of shape it. Kind of like a rose bronze. See? Very pretty. Okay, we're going to copy. Trying to get it to where you guys see. I'm on my cell phone doing this, so. Bear with me. Yeah, kind of, uh. There we go. See it? It's gorgeous. Hmm. Huh. Actually, really like it. Okay, so we're going to hurry and do my eyebrows. And even though it looks like I got some, so kind of wearing out. So I'm going to use this light brown here again. And we're just going to kind of hurry and shape them. Kind of like a blonde color. I know my eyebrows are blacker than that, but... Or darker, but... This way, at least I can kind of get a shape to them. And then, I can go in with a darker color. Little man is upset because brother's giving him a bath instead of mommy and daddy. Okay, let's go with in the, the, like, almost blackish brown color. Oh, he gotta wash up. That's the problem. Gee, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, just keep using that color I wanted. There we go. Do you see how nice it's looking? Okay. A little bit more. Don't 
There we go. I don't know why, but that one always seemed to get sharper. Like more of a sharper edge than I want it to. When I just want it to be a little bit softer. <sighs> Eyebrows always tell the story. Alright. So, we got that done. Now we're going to go in with mascara. And I grabbed this Claire's Curling Recurbin Mascara in Black. And it kind of has like a basic wand that you would see anywhere, you know, kind of slightly curved. So, pray for me. Alrighty. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's bad, but it might take me a long It's really wet, so maybe once it starts to kind of dry out, it might be better. Because I tend to like the drier formulas. Another thing, too, is when I was younger, um, my very first eye compact, I'll tell you, I still remember it, was walking on eggshells. So I really remember that. And I remember using it in the little sponge applicators, which was really funny because if I try and do that now, I don't think I could do it. Okay, I also bought this little lash curler, bedazzled one. It really reminds me of tarts. It really does. And we're just going to kind of curl these lashes. Didn't rip them out, so that's good. Okay, now I got a hold of them. Alright, so we're going to add another layer of mascara, hopefully, to hold it. Yeah, it's holding. That's a good thing. <sighs> it's funny because I always do my mascara before I do my eyeliner. I don't know why, I just do. I always have. Now remember I always used to wear black eyeliner. It would I'd have brown once in a while. Cause I figured out early on I could make my green eyes pop with brown. But mostly when I went out and everything, it was black. So I have two kinds of eyeliners here. I got the casual eyeliner. And I have this two-in-one felt eyeliner that's actually kind of cool. Look at that. Pretty decent line. Got a, it bends. The tip bends easy. This isn't... Oh, it is now, but... I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I want to use this. I think I want to use this. So, I'm just going to kind of... And the lid fell. Going to get it as close to my lash line as possible. See? Now, the person who originated this challenge, Nikki Tutorials, she did a great job. And then I saw a couple of others. And I didn't really pay attention to what they said on the makeup or anything. I paid attention to where they got it, obviously, because I'm like, where am I going to get makeup? 
you know, that's for a kid. But I didn't really pay attention to the quality. And I heard about the icing stuff, and I tried finding it, but the clear that I went to didn't have it. So that's why I'm like, well, you know what? I really actually used um, CoverGirl for my first foundation. So that's what I went with. But Nikki Tutorial did a wonderful job. And it's a fun challenge because everyone taking it by the bull, by the horns. Bull by the horns, whatever. The thing is. And, you know, it's fun. I mean, it was fun, you know, remembering. But, I don't know. When I went looking for um, makeup, I wanted to make sure I was going to use it all the time. Because once I saw the price tags and stuff, I was like, I gotta make sure I can use it all the time. So, I made sure to grab stuff that I figured and knew I would use. So, that's why I got what I did. Because it's expensive. I want to be able to use it again. There we go. Where's the lid go? I lost the lid. There it is. Ow. My butt. I don't have a seat on this. And I'm wearing shorts. So my butt's sticking to it. Okay, so we got the eyes done. We need to finish up blush and everything, okay? So, I'm going to use this pinkish blush. Ooh, a lot of product pickup. There we go. And we're just going to kind of do what I always do. It's real shimmery. And it doesn't look like I'm getting any on. But look up close. You can see it. I can see it anyways. It's pink. Really nice. It it gives a glow at least. Okay. A little bit more. Now do you see it? Yeah, you can. So yeah. Kinda mix it in. Nice. I like it. Get away from me, fly. Go away, you. Okay, I'm going to wipe off the brush so that I can do the highlight a little bit. And the highlight, it actually looks more like a peachy, um, it's like a peach toned. But, maybe if I turned off this light, you could see it better. It's like a peach toned, see? And as you can see, now you can see it, because not everything, hmm, looks good. Not everything being, you know, whited out. Okay. Make sure I've got some product. And I'm using the opposite side of the brush. Nice. I like it. I like it. Use a little bit on my nose so that it shines a little bit. Right there. Oh, I'm not. I'll go like this. Sorry. <laughs> not what I was meaning, honest. Okay, I don't have a lip liner or anything, but I do want to use this eye glit stuff, even though I didn't have a very favorable thing of it. I'm going to turn on the slide again. Yeah, that kind of drowns me out. Hold on. Because I can change it to different settings. Okay. Evening. Home. There we go. That's better. 
usually I have it on day, but it's better. So, I want to do some glitter, maybe like on the inner corner. So, I'm going to take this color right here. Just a little bit. And... There we go. A little bit. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Yep, I like it. Looks good. Okay, I'm just going to go with a gloss. Honestly, and it came with these little lip... It came with tools. And I'm going to use this little lip liner one. And I'm going to pick... Since I, you know, okay. I'm going to pick... This one. Ooh. Let's get that loosened. Okay, I'm gonna pick the pink one. See if I can get some of it up. Kinda. Kinda goopy. Okay. And I'm right. It's a lipstick. But you can't really see it. It's so light. And it is so light. See it? I hope you can. Okay. So I got done using that, see? It's nice. Okay, okay, put that little pencil back. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this yeah, little Claire lip gloss thing, came with it. Right there. I don't know if you can see it. And we're gonna gloss them. Typical doe fruit applicator. It smells good. Hmm, I like it. So, this is the look. Um. This wasn't bad. I'll actually use this again for sure. For sure. And I'm going to take it camping with me. Because it got everything. So it's perfect. So I really like this. And I don't think it's the name of the palette called Bonjour. Bonjour. I think it's just a basic makeup set. And it's just a pair of themed. Alright. Of course. My cover girl. I used it as a kid. This, I really like this. This was cool. I mean, you got your black, got a gold bronze, a silver, a kind of a rose gold, a gold, and kind of a white. I really like it. The pencil, I didn't really try other than on my hand. It looks like it'll be good. 
Um, I used the casual eyeliner. It was okay. I like it. The brushes surprised me. I was able to use these for so many things, surprisingly. Out of all of them, I was able to use it. So I was really happy that I got to use these and be able to incorporate the whole look, which is great. So I am definitely very happy. Not happy with the price tag, because I think with the price tag they could have been better. But they were still good. I really liked them. So definitely happy with those. Those are going to get washed now. Really happy with this sucker. This actually reminds me of the Tarte one. Right down to the T. So I'm really happy with this. Definitely loving it. So definitely we'll use it again. Put that away. These aren't bad. These little correcting beads. They're not bad. Not worth the price tag. Because it didn't help as much as like the elf or a girl and you know but they're good so I didn't use these it's okay I'll throw them in my purse I'll use them then the mascara surprisingly was really good so I'm really happy with it I'll make sure I'll be using it so overall this is the look and I did the challenge and now I challenge you guys to do it um, right now, Claire's is having a special where you buy three, get three. So, that kind of really sweetens the deal. And it makes it way less expensive. Trust me. So, go ahead, you do it, and I'll be watching you. Bye, guys.